It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where we are practicing sonorous time management. Let's move smoothly to the event. The hand axe, the largest, longest used tool in human history, may have been used to smash open bones for their marrow after other predators and scavengers had left. I'm sure you noticed the chaos icon on the event, so uh, that is going to affect Sid. Finally, she's actually pretty happy about this because she feels like she's been hindered by her, her, her discs being tied up in her own promiscuity. It hasn't really been helpful. Interesting thing about promiscuity, I should note, is it lets you gather, which it just gives you more babies, but if you don't have that many vocal discs, you don't really want babies. So, she's going to be pair bonding, which is what Kaz and Kat is. So, marriage is going to be important to her, uh, but first she's going to have to survive because she gets cut in half her population. Danimal did not have enough hunters to support all of his dependents, which are, include elders and, oh, actually, you know what, I think married daughters are okay. They don't count as dependents because the husband takes care of them. So actually, he, he just barely scraped by. He was going to have to lose someone. I was wrong about that. I apologize for wasting your time. Let's continue. Sid won our auction easily, taking the scavenger woman who has food storage. That, that gives her that gathering ability that she lost when switching from promiscuity. She also wants to be able to place some white and black discs. She needs to get some more discs down so she can start getting some elders, which is uh, more different types of elders, which are useful. And also she can move towards tribalism. Um, Danimal saw the problem with supporting so many daughters. His population is getting low and he, he's kind of like stuck in a rock in a hard place. He can't get too high of a population, right? But he needs a higher population. So really he's, he's just got to focus on getting these discs off before he does anything else. Kaz and Kat, uh, and that's what he's doing. So he split his forces again. You know, it's kind of shaky that he'll be able to get both and he'll end up with a lot of population doing this, but he's really just focused on getting that caring woman free. Kaz and Kat, with the exception of a suitor here at the laughing woman is going all in on the Al alpine ibex she needs to get um one disc one white disc off and that gives her that and then she's hoping to maybe be able to domesticate it as well or at least get it into her hand for future domestication she needs that white disc to, to um, make this invention work so there we go so far, the animal was re relatively successful. He got one orange disc off and just enough population not to go over his line here of 10. Um, Kaz and Cat was also relatively successful. She didn't get, she didn't successfully domesticate the horse, which is maybe good because she's, you know, she's past her limit. She got a wanderlust person from uh, Sid, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but she did domesticate the horse, didn't get the discs off, but I think the population growth would have been maybe too much anyway, so that's probably good. So let's go ahead and roll Sid here. Sid, these are our last three three hunters um, that she has because of that Wanderlust cube loss plus the chaos. So she really needs the babies now. We haven't seen a lot of people needing babies, but apparently babies have some use. Let's roll. And she's not quite there, so she's got to just be really careful, really careful. Everyone else assigned before her, this was not the ideal space for her to get babies. She, she maybe would have wanted to go here because that just seemed a little simpler. I don't know how the probability works out. These stars mean you can hit on a one or two. A uh, one just means you can hit on a one, but you have to have two dice there, one die there. I don't know if, the, I don't think those work out to be the same, but they might, you know math, tell me. Kaz and Kat matured her fa uh, famous uh, tailored clothes none too soon. She, an elder, uh, elder die-off event just came up and she did roll a five, but since she got those tailored clothes just in time, the elder was like able to dodge the, um, the what, what was it they killed him? The first status adornments, jewelry, and body painting date from the Cultural Revolution when those with status were buried with their valuable jewelry. So I guess this was kind of a reverse thing where the status gained by having tailored clothes made it so that you were just not buried. And maybe that was kind of the hope here that if they buried them with um, status jewelry and whatnot, then maybe they would come back to life because uh, wealthy people live longer. I've said it a lot, but it remains to be true. Sid is in a tough place. So she's uh, low on 
on Hunters. She lost an elder during that last elder loss. She she has a problem with um, her scavenger woman here. She so on the flip side of um, of promiscuity was pair bonding, which is what she just changed to. Problem with pair bonding is you can't use your daughter's abilities unless. Um, they're married. It's difficult to get for anyone else to marry anyone other than Kaz and Kat because Kat has the um, singing woman which uh, allows her her suitors to have poetry which allows them to always succeed in their courtship. So Sid is she, she kind of regrets um, st ceasing her promiscuity but you know maybe she should have just kept promiscuous dealt with the, the population loss and used that to allow herself to build back up. But she went with what she went with. Now she has to debate, you know, she only has three cubes. Does she bother trying to put an immature husband on there to help help defend the daughter? She only have a one in six chance. And she, yeah, even less than that because she gets second shot on the rolls um, this round because red goes first. She really needs to get some population. She's worried about dying. I think she's going to not worry about her daughters and just come back around to that. And then maybe, yeah, I think that's, I think that's the way things are going to go. Fortunately for Sid, the others uh, were single-minded in their pursuit of, basically, they each just wanted one thing and not a lot of babies. So that left the red deer, which is, there's not a lot of good options for just getting easy babies right now but this is probably one of the best. and also gets off the disc that she needs to, to, to have removed. Um, and you know what? I was thinking about this again, and I, I know I came to this realization before. It's actually, a, I don't know that she, I need to check this. I don't know that Sid's pe husbands actually have to be the one to marry the daughter in order for the daughter to become active for them. I think I thought, I thought for some reason that they didn't. So I think it's actually okay for her. It works as a sort of like symbiosis between the two for Kaz and Kat to marry her daughter. So I'm going to check on that a little bit, but I thought you might want to see some die rolling. I don't know if I've done that in a while and that's what you came for. So uh, 10, we're going to roll 10 dice. This is going to be an automatic one. Actually, she doesn't even need it to be an automatic one because she's not even trying to get rid of the black disc. She's just trying to get the technology. Get Kaz and Kat. Okay, so we get to roll one more as well. Uh, so we got, but we got the three of a kind, so we don't even need to bother. So these are all going to come back. She's going to get that. We'll just remember she's going to get that. Um, ten dice here for the animal. Going after that Arctic flounder, that poor little flounder. And he got what he needed. Doesn't have to worry about the frostbite because he has this fire starter here. Um, and what he needed was he wanted to get rid of this. Fortunately, he had to get two babies along with that, so that makes things a little uncomfortable. Again, we'll just it's, it's hard for me to move all these cubes with my left hand. Um, I'm over-specialized in my right hand. All right, now let's go for another exciting hunt of the red deer. Uh, there's been a lot of positive feedback about the previous red deer hunts, so I, I think you'll probably appreciate this one. This one's a real shot in the dark. She has to get two ones and twos out of just three dice. It's going to be really tough. Almost there, but almost doesn't count when it comes to survival. You could see Sid smile when she saw this come up. This was the replacement for that, um, what was it that she got, that cat got, the fishing wire. Um, a snow hare. Look how easy that would be. That's like probably the easiest way to get like a baby. She's going to be slow and, slow and steady, but she's got to do something. Got to do something to get that population back up or everything is ruined. A woman with the name is a very interesting... Um, daughter makes for an interesting auction right now between Danimal and Sid. They both have a strong desire for that card because they each uh, they each have quite a few daughters. Danimal has four daughters, so that would be worth eight points right there. See, it says game in two points per daughter. That's that's pretty good. Normally, you know, like Sid, for example, gets one point per daughter. Danimal right now gets two points per daughter, so that would make daughters even more valuable for him. Um, However, she's got all the she's got all the bidding power right now. He's kind of determined that he's not going to worry about chaos. He's going to just move forward because 
you know, if, if he goes into chaos, he only loses four hunters instead of half anyway. And he's got enough hunters that that's not going to, like, totally kill him. It's not going to put him down to, like, Sid levels here. So it's like, how reckless does he want to get? How high does he want to get? Um, so he might be able to bid a lot and then feel confident that he could, you know, hit something like um, a rhinoceros. That would be hard without an alpha. Um, or the tyrant sea bear, which would also be hard without an alpha. He could end up killing his population just trying to get back up. But um, you can only bid orange, so that's what we got to look at. He only has three orange discs. So that's not a lot to work with. And where Sid has five, and Kaz and Cat has four, she's not as interested in it. She's fine with other people getting the daughters and then just taking over as husbands, because she gets a lot of points as husbands. Three. The animal bid as high as he could, but it wasn't high enough. Sid had more discs than him, and it was simple math. If you have more, you could bid more, and you can outbuy. And here we see how Sid plans to get more babies. She uh, has that um, scavenger woman right here. So she gets, she gets a baby for every of these like green spaces that she's in. She gets those right now. So she's assured Twoo off the top. She might get the rabbit. She might get some more from the Arctic flounder. She's not going to get anything off the red deer. She just did that for fun. Um, let's go ahead and roll her things. We won't even roll this one because it's not going to matter. We'll roll the snow hair. Nope, did not work. And we'll work the flounder. If she was almost going to put two on the flounder, that maybe would have been a better idea, but she went for the spread. Didn't pay off, but that's okay. She got the for sure two. Now we see, um, we see uh, Danimal here in a big trophy hunt. He's really just figured, I'm going to just go for a lot of population, not worry about the chaos, and then I can go from there um, and just see if I can get some trophies. Trophies are worth four points for him right now per dot. So this card, if he can get it, is worth eight points. And you'll have two more dice to roll. Oh, it looks like he's got the four of a kind right there. Now that's all deaths as well, <laughs> each of those sixes. Um, fours and fives are also deaths. Ones and twos and threes are not. We'll keep the ones and twos and we'll roll this one two more times because he might get some babies back and that would be good for him right now with all that death. Okay, that's another death. Just remember, uh, nine deaths. No, eight deaths. Oh, but he got he got four back. So well, uh, we said eight deaths, so he's going to have four deaths, right, because that's eight minus four. And so that actually turned out pretty well for him. The discs don't matter, but um, the cave bear is going extinct. This mechanism I don't quite understand. Um, Still works. Works for Danimal. All right, and then finally we have the quest for the Alpine Ibex. And she's going for some domestication here. But she also wants to get rid of this white cube. Doesn't really care about the... I think her population's pretty good. She's she's marrying them off enough that she can keep... She can deal with her flow. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she's going to roll eight dice. She has it one automatically because of her trapper. Okay, and she's looking for three of a kind. She did not get the three of a kind. Oh, yes, yeah, she did. I'm looking at a three of a kind. Okay, and she, she got the three babies and got rid of this white disc, which made this mature. Just throw that over there. And three babies. She only has one baby left, so that's not even going to be an issue. And this goes into her hand. We will replace that one. We don't replace the trophy, we replace that. And we have... Merck's Rhinoceros. Come on. And I really got to run, so we're just going to end things briefly with people are start finally feeling comfortable putting these discs on. Um, Cat has four. Sid has four. Uh, Danimal has three. When magic number here is five, if they hit five, they're going to flip over and become tribals, tribal species, and the game's going to change for them. Uh, so we'll see what happens next time on the Real People Multi-Game Molitary. When I get hurried, I sometimes make errors. I love you too. Goodbye.